I think the surprising thing for lots of people is that our system where we get our drinking water is not sterile. In Sweden, a lot of our drinking water comes from surfaces. So these are lakes, rivers, where the rain falls and goes into these bodies of water. And then the water comes out of these lakes and into a water treatment plant. And then from the treatment plant, it's sent out into a bunch of pipes that are buried under the ground and then eventually makes it to your house and your tap. In the drinking water system, bacteria live in pipes, so there's a lot of um, high-pressure water flowing past. And by growing in this sticky substance called biofilm, they're able to sit there in the pipe and not get swept away. What we're beginning to have is an appreciation for that this is a whole ecosystem in our drinking water pipes. If the water that we're drinking is not sterile right now, uh, we don't really know what would happen if it was sterile. And maybe that's something we don't want to find out either. Um, the idea could be that if we think of eating yogurt or eating probiotic supplements or whatever you choose, that that can make you feel better um, because it allows your stomach to be healthier. It could be the same idea that if we have bacteria that we want in our drinking water, that we could then add some nutrient into the treatment plant that would encourage the good bacteria, just the same way that we want to encourage them for our healthy immune system in our gut.